Hi guys, Adele with Be Pampered here. I wanted to make a little video for you to show you the difference between our Lash Lift Glue and our new Lash Balm. So balms have been on the market for about six months or so, and we have waited because we wanted to formulate the perfect balm to go with our system. So I'm gonna show you how it works. This is one of the first ones that I uh, did with it, so I have changed a few things and I will let you know sort of updates of the better way to use uh, the balm. Um, but first off, I'm going to show you how to use our glue. Our glue is probably middle ground. I would say it's not super fast drying, yet it's not super slow drying. So for me, it's perfect because if I'm pulling the lashes up and they're drying right away, I find it's really hard to uncrisscross them and separate them properly. However, you do want to work quickly because you don't want to be sitting for an hour doing a lash lift. We do want them to dry in good time. And so you can see here when I'm using the glue, I need to apply a little bit more glue every time that I want it to be more pliable and move on the shield. So every time you're uh, working over a space, you have to kind of add a little bit more glue, which is fine. Sorry guys, this is my uh, video skills here. Um, but every time you want to make the lashes move again, you have to apply a little bit more glue. It's okay. Um, this is just how we've always done it. It's very time effective. It's fine because we've done it with our lash lifts and tints within 30 minutes. So it does work quite quickly. However, with the new lash balm, we have found that we can cut the time down even more. So the new lash balm is um, got lots of vitamins in it, so it's not drying out any lashes. And as you can see, I'm using a single use uh, tool. However, I have found since then that I've been using my henna brush, the angled brush with the bristles. And I find that that pulls them up and separates them very easily. The nicest thing about the balm is that it goes up so quick and they don't dry out. So you can move them around as much as you want and they'll still stick to the shield. So I'm putting product on the entire lash and I'm separating them with my tools. So I'm gonna use my lifting tool and I'm gonna use my Y comb here and make sure it's the same process, making sure that there's no crisscrossed uh, lashes. Then I'm going to go back over it with a q-tip, a dry q-tip, and I'm going to remove all of the product from the base of the lash to about halfway up the shield, basically where you're going to be putting your number one lotion. So we don't want it to act as a barrier, but you can even see how much quicker that process was than my gluing process. And yes, I have cut it out certain things like me fiddling around in the background just to make this video a little bit easier but honestly it probably cuts down half of the time of lifting the lashes up onto the shield so the difference between again the glue and the balm is that you have to use these silicone strips you can use tape however we have come out with these new reusable silicone strips so they're better for the environment you can sanitize them just the same way that you do with your shields in this video I had applied the strip to the number one lotion the first step however I have been finding you don't need to do it at the first step you just have to do it at the second step when you're applying the lotion over the entire lash again it's your preference you can use it in the first step as well I just found that most of the time I don't need to use it because the lashes aren't popping off of the shield this was one of the things that um, was holding us back on actually launching our bomb because we wanted it to work with our system. This client is not getting a tint, obviously. She's just getting the lift, so we didn't add the tint to our second step. However, because we do add a tint to our second lotion, it does cover the entire lash, and we were finding the balm would just dissolve and it would come right off. However, we worked with it, and we created a formula that works really, really well, and I'm super excited. You can see that I had put a lash silicone strip over top of the glue side as well because I noticed some of them were popping off on the second step. So again, it's just replacing our tape, but I just find the whole balm process so nice. It's full of vitamins. You can tell that the lashes are nice and healthy after the service. The lift looks exactly the same as it does with the glue. It's just an overall better 
product. We still have our lash lifting glue. It's going to be, you know, like our staple, but this balm is just blowing me away. So I had to share it with you. Anyways, you guys can find it at shopbepampered.com and email us if you have any questions at hive at bepampered.ca. Thanks guys. I can't do nothing with you.